Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to the Legend of Grimrock 2. We are just in the Sleet Island. Um, one thing that has happened is I have actually uh, completed this section a little while ago, but the recording was lost. In fact, I was um, recording with Camtasia, and uh, Camtasia just crashed on me halfway through. So I'm, I'm actually kind of doing this uh, this for the second time around. Um, so I kind of do know what what to expect. Um, just up a l ahead a little way. Um, unfortunately, Brutus has uh, just been damaged though. Um, now, what happened the first time I was recording this is that uh, Jimbo actually died um, fighting one of these rock trolls or rock monsters. Um, so, see if we can keep everyone everyone alive this time around. Unfortunately, Jimbo, uh, sorry, Brutus has been injured with his hand. Can't attack with the hand. Oh, that is ridiculous. Um, yeah, these rock creatures are really tough to deal with. They do drop a lot of rocks though, which is kind of cool. So let's just um, give those to to Rastan, and we'll have a little bit of a look around here and see what we can find. There is the uh, the, the healing crystal over here, so maybe we should run and uh, see if I could heal up first. And I uh, just got to make sure I get out of this area. I don't want to get trapped anywhere um, where these rock creatures can uh, can. Um, can attack me and I can't run around. So let's uh, use a bit of magic to take care of this guy. They do hit really, really hard. That's the, that's the thing about these, uh, these creatures. Um, but they are kind of susceptible to magic, even though the um, the weapons, the ordinary weapons, don't really work too well against these guys, but uh, the magic still hurts them pretty badly, as you can see. So, quite often the weapons will only do, you know, one damage, just like that. So it's kind of a bit of a waste, almost. Let's heal up this guy once more. He's he's in. There we go. And uh, Jimbo gained a level as well, which is pretty cool. So we should level this guy up. Now I was going to give him the um, the armor. Oh, he does, he does have light armor proficiency already, which is really cool. We are leveling him up in air magic as well. Um, so we could keep doing that and keep skilling him up. And I think it's probably a good thing to do. Um, he is on the front line as well. So giving him something that's going to beef up either his... Uh, his his strength or his armor is good as well. So let's have a look at this light weapons. He does have a, a dagger he uses, a poison dagger. And we can give him some more energy as well by increasing his concentration um, to give him plus 20 energy, which could be could be handy as well because he does run out of our energy pretty quickly. Um, I think we might go with the air magic though. We're going to keep skilling him up uh, with the air magic. And we'll see how that goes. Now I'm just going to have a look around here. I think there is a, a, a sack somewhere around here that we can use. There's this pathway through to the cemetery over there. And I think we do have the sack over here. Yeah, here we go. So I'm just going to grab this grab this sack. And I might actually give this sack to, to Rastan. Um, just because he's he's always really full, actually. So let's, let's uh, put, a, put a bit of food in here. And um, just because he, he's able to carry quite a bit of stuff, let's give the the rage potion to Brutus, who might need it up there um, on the front lines. We're gonna maybe give kind of even this out a little bit and see who's got a bit of spare space. Jimbo can carry quite a bit there, 54 kilograms, um, and. Whew, there we go. Okay, let's see what's up here. So we do have the, the pyramid up here. Um, now, I came through here pretty fast. I just want to see if I missed anything. Um, I think there was a, a statue over here. It's funny because the first time you, you play this game, the first time around, you kind of go a little bit slower just to make sure you've got everything. And um, because I have uh, I have recorded this once before, I kind of uh, am going through it a little bit faster, but uh, I'm worried now that I'm missing something. Did I actually miss something? Let's... Have a look down here. There's a sign here which says, Danger. 
Oh my goodness! Ah! Oh. Ah oh, no! Okay, that was not good. That was not good at all. Um, let's head back there, and I want to try something. I think if we can maybe operate that at a bit of a distance, we might be able to get into a safe spot, or, or a relatively safe spot, where we can actually take on these guys. Um, actually, I'm going to have to take on these, these rocks again, aren't I? I should get rid of these rocks first. So, let's get rid of these rock monsters. These guys remind me a bit of the, the rocks in, uh, in Dungeon Master. If you've uh, played Dungeon Master before, the little rocks, and I think they poisoned you in Dungeon Master, so... These guys luckily don't, uh, don't poison you, but they do hit really hard. Oh no! Goodness me! What happened there? We got him. I just looked and we... Oh, the rocks there. Okay, the rocks. I thought so I missed something on the ground, but it's, um, yeah, it's only rocks. Um, and okay, of course we need to grab that bag again, don't we? So let's go and grab that bag once more. Where is it? I have to do that again. So let's sort things out for, for Rastern here. I'm um, just going to put this away. We're going to move the Rage Potion over there and just uh, put a bit of food in here as well. Um, actually, he can probably eat one of those. Um, there we go. We're going to give... Actually, I'll give the Fire Bombs to, um, to Lissa here because he is the Fire Mage. Um, we'll skill up Jimbo the Third. We're doing Air Magic there. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. Now, is that is that everything? I think that's all. Okay, let's get this uh, this weaponry sorted out here. We're giving Brutus. He's got light weapons. He can dual wield as well, which is cool. Um, now let's go and take on that danger area. What I'm going to do is have a bit of a sleep. I'm just out in the open here. Hopefully, nothing is going to come by while I'm sleeping. Oh, no, Brutus. He's hungry. All right, let's give give him a bit of food there, and he can probably eat something else as well. There we go. Does anybody else need any food? They're all kind of getting a little bit hungry. We are we are going to have to go fishing, I think, and um, get a little bit of get a little bit of food from the water. Alright, okay, that's done. So, we're going to get this uh, this fire spell ready, and the lightning bolt, and well, the shock spell, I should say. We'll save the game here. Okay, so this is what is going to happen. Um, I'm just going to put these rocks over here, and I'm a little bit nervous about doing this, actually. I've got my spells ready, though. And I guess, I guess what I could do is actually jump in the water if I'm getting attacked too badly. Um, let's do this. Gosh, they're over the... Oh, what happened there? No, run, 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 run. Oh, down, down, down. Oh, goodness me, that's ridiculous. Oh, gosh. Now, there was a... Oh, he's going to die, too. Get him out of here. There's a ladder over here. Good grief. Oh, Okay, there's one down. Oh, healing potion, please, healing potion. Okay, let's get these spells ready again. Now, when we were in the bog, we could take... Oh, gosh. We could take these guys out with one one fire blast. We'd basically take one of them out. But um, these guys look like they're a little bit tougher than that. So... Um, I wonder how many we have left as well. Just one or two. These flies are definitely not, not fun. 
At least I can see them glowing in the distance. They're easy to see. Um, now, I think in the previous recording, I kind of getting confused about what I've done and what I haven't done. I'm really sorry about that. Um, it's just, yeah, Camtasia did crash on me and I did lose my first recording. So we do have the pyramid here. As you can see, we'll go and read that note. Um, I haven't read that note in this recording. I have read, I re read that note in the last recording, but um, I'll read it for you guys in a second and uh, you can see what's going on there. Let me just, I'm a bit worried about these these fireflies coming up behind me, so I might actually just go and hunt them down first. Um, let's see. No, they're not that way. Come on, fireflies, where are you? I think they've actually gone off in the distance. Here we go, here we go. They're coming, they're coming. They're fast little guys, aren't they? Phew, I did take them out with one hit. Beautiful. And there should be one more a lot of them. Um, where are you? Where are they? Oh, they're not here. Never mind. We'll go back to the period pyramid. We'll read that note. And um, if those... The last set of fireflies... Do come by, I'll be ready for them with a fireball. It does seem to be their weakness, the, uh, the fireballs. So definitely the biggest hitter of this party is um, Lissa, the, um, the the fire mage at the back there. So we've got these really awesome. I thought my torch had gone out there, so looking a little bit dark. We do have these uh, these pretty awesome um, cobras here, the golden cobras, the statues um, at the front of this pyramid. So we're going to read this um, read this note here. It says. Dear Visitor, Unfortunately, the gate of the Great Pyramid was locked a long time ago with a strange kind of key. I'm afraid the key might be unrecoverable by now. So I'm just going to leave these notes here. There is a strange kind of key, and I might leave a few more notes here. The trickster comes and goes, and that was to do with the, the Shrine of Pain there as well. So, a few notes. And as you can see, there is no keyhole here. So, um, can't seem to open it at the moment there is a little button here which creates a bridge going across to another part of the island um, I'm not quite sure how to get to the center island at the moment um, and we have this beautiful crystal lotus flower here which is another alchemy item and the statue says the gate to the fifth shrine is hidden from sight now, I wonder if this is actually the fifth shrine here. We do have, if we have a look in our map, we do have the shrine to... Um, let's see, there's no shrine in the sh shipwreck island. There's a shrine over here, the shrine of earth. There's the element of fire, the shrine of fire over there. Um, there wasn't one in the Forgotten River as far as I'm aware. So there's one, there's two. This is kind of the third one. Um, so I'm not sure if it's this shrine that's hidden or if there's another shrine that's hidden. Here we go, here we go. Let's take these guys out. Grab, grip the fire. Oh gosh. They hit really hard. There we go. They're so fast, those guys. They're so fast. Nevertheless, we've taken them out and I think it's probably a good time to save now. Okay, so we're just going to head across to... Um, to this ladder over here, as you can see, and uh, see where that takes us. Now there are mermen in this water, as you can see, running or uh, swimming all around the place. The silent one has a friend who is more willing to speak. Head towards the sunrise beyond the gate to find him. Um, head towards the sunrise beyond the gate to find him. Now there was a statue he didn't who didn't speak. Um, I think he was over here somewhere. So. Um, towards the sunrise. The sunrise is in the east. Um, so I suppose I'm heading over to this area here to find the other statue. Um, I guess that's what he's talking about. There is a gate here and I think I need to enter this gate from the other side because there is a teleporter and a switch um, just over there as you can see. So I'm not going to worry too much about this gate um, at the moment. Now as you can see there is another... Um, yeah there's a few interesting things to look at here. Um, there's another ladder over there, which we'll go and climb up. 
Um, I do need to figure out how to get into this temple though. I'm sure there's, there's, there must be a way through the water because I can't see any other way to get in at the moment. So I'm just going to swim over um, to that other ladder over there. So I will pick up some of those fish. But as you can see, there is a... Oh, get out of the way, buddy. Gosh. Move, move, move. Oh, you silly turkey. You turkey. Um, gosh. It's just sitting there in the water where I want to go. Yeah, there is another ladder going down, but it's it's been barred. Um, so I'm not sure at this point how to to unlock that. So I'm just gonna wait for that merman to uh, to actually leave. And um, if I can catch some fish, but there's merman around, it's kind of really it's a really sketchy situation here. Um, and we found another little another little thing we can use here. So let's have a look. We've got uh, a nice Tribal Shield, um, Tribal Shield Evasion plus two, um, which I kind of don't really want to use. It doesn't seem that good. Um, evasion plus two, I'm sure I can find much better than that. And we have another little note. Um, so let's read what's here. It says, a treasure chest long lost, guarded by the four fallen spirits in the bog. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So that's something I'm going to have to look at. Now, if I remember correctly, there was another... When we went to the bog, um, we did find a map, didn't we? Or did I not save that? I don't think I saved that. Um, I think we died, so we'll have to go and get that map again. That was in the Herder's Den. Um, so I haven't really been able to, uh, to explore what that was all about at the moment. So I might just sleep. I kind of want to sleep through the night. And explore this water in the morning. Just make sure everyone has some food to eat here. Keep them, uh, keep them nice and happy. Um, so we're going to save the game because we are going to do a bit of swimming and um, yeah, see if we can find a way into this island. It's really, um, really a little bit confusing. I also do want to let's grab a few of these fish if I can. Come on, buddy. I need some food. Oh gosh, got him. All right, got one guy. Got one little fish. Um, there's, there's a lot of fish down there actually, so I kind of want to... Oh, there's a merman as well. It's dangerous, it's dangerous around here. What I'm going to do first off is, is head back to the, the, the danger sign and see if anything has opened up there. Um, but I might as well kind of have a look in the water and see if I can find anything. Um, while I'm here. No, there's nothing. Got another fish. Beautiful. Um, yeah, unfortunately I can't stay down here for too long. Um, but I do want to have a good kind of look around and see if there's any way I can get... Where's the next ladder? Here we go. Whew. Yeah, I do want to have a good look around in the water and um, see what I can find. See if I can find any, any secrets around here. Um, there's this one here which I need to unlock and I think now might be a good time to do it. The, the crystal is nearby. I don't see any mermen. So I think now could be a perfect time to do it. Is there any way I can make this easier on myself? I don't think so. I'm just going to have to go and sit there and wait. So let's, let's, actually, we'll save the game. All right, a bit nervous about this, but um, three, two, one, let's go. Well, there's no mermen around. Beautiful. There's a skull in there. Is that all? Come on, come on. Open, open. Are you serious? Come on. Open. <laughs> oh, no. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm getting attacked. Seriously? 
Are you serious? Open, open, please open. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's head back to the crystal. That was a long time to wait. Oh, that's torture. That is torture. What does this say, by the way? Mind and matter. Okay, we've done that one. Okay, that's the entrance there. So, maybe there is going to be some, some way we can get up. And there's a bridge over here as well. Ooh. That could be interesting. Maybe there's a secret through there. We'll have a look at that um, in a second. Just going to head back here and uh, heal my party up. As I said, I am playing kind of blind. Um, well, not blind. I mean, I haven't, uh, I haven't played this game before. So I'm kind of working out things as I go along and I kind of figure that's the most enjoyable way to play. It also means I do miss quite a bit as well, I'm sure. Um, there is a ladder over there, so I just want to check out this section. Oh, not more mermen. Oh, there's a... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Awesome. We found a crate. Yes, okay. Let's, let's get back up and we'll open this crate. Um, okay, we're getting, getting a ton of stuff here. Let's open this crate. Oh, we got some food in there. Beautiful. Let's give the spiked fruit to that guy. He loves it. He loves it. And that'll do for now. Um, yeah, let's go get this secret um, that we opened up. Has anything happened here? Danger. And, oh, there's something over there as well. There's something on this island here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it out. Oh, these mermen. You're kidding me. How do we get up here? Okay, let's check out this secret. Um, where is it again? It is over here. Okay, I don't want to get stuck in there, so I've got to make sure there's no, no mermen over there. There's one there, but... Um, there's a merman coming. Oh, gosh. Okay, I've got the skull. That's, uh, that's one thing. It's not... It's pretty pretty much use, useless to me, actually. And it weighs a kilo as well, so it's, it's pretty much useless. Um, I've got to wait for this merman to leave, though. He's just sitting there, waiting. It's, um, it's a good thing I can actually see him under the water. I'm just going to give it a second. And um, hopefully he will disappear. And I can go and grab whatever else is in there. So, ready to head down again. Let's uh, save the game, just in case I do get stuck. Underwater, I can't attack. So if he if he blocks me in there, um, then it's it's goodbye. So might as well save the game here. And he's gone. He's gone. Cool, cool, cool. Let's pick up this. What have we got? That's it. That's it. Okay. Oh oh oh! More men are coming. What kind of potion was that? Oh, an antidote. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, it is a bit of a process of discovery. Um, I want to check out how to get onto this island. Maybe I'll just teleport there somehow one day. Um, I can't see any secrets though. We've got this little guy who's um, going to be a bit of a hassle, I'm sure. Uh, nothing, nothing here, nothing here. Oh, hang on. That looks a bit... Does that rock look a bit different? Where's the ladder? There it is there. There's got to be something around here. There must be something. Okay. Let's go for another dive. Oh, leave me alone, buddy. Please leave me alone. Oh, gosh. You're kidding me, right? 
Um, there's got to be something around here. Where's the where's the nearest ladder? Oh, it's, oh no, he's right near the ladder as well. Quick fish. <laughs> I didn't get the fish. Oh gosh, I may have to come back to this. I don't don't know how to get in. I I must admit I do not know how to get into this uh, this temple. Oopsie Daisy. Oh no, no, I can't believe I just did that. I'm stuck. Oh that's it. It's all over, buddy. Um Move, move, buddy, move. Attack, attack. I can throw stuff at him. <laughs> that's not gonna work. Okay, guys, I must admit I am a little bit stumped about how to uh, get into this uh, this temple here, the water temple. Um, so what I might actually do is head off to the, the cemetery in the east. We were given that clue um, that there was um, a statue who had more to say in the east. Now, um, that gave us a little bit of a clue to, to maybe head off to the east and um, see if there's anything more over here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head off to the, the cemetery and see if we can get some more clues. Oh my goodness. We'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching.